Hi. Hi, I am Naomi Beth and I call myself the Naughty Oracle because I like to tell it the way it is or how I see it. And um, today I want to talk about grief and sadness and that overwhelming sense of having to cry. Um, very prevalent at the moment uh, because of the death of Queen Elizabeth this past few weeks. Um, and all the ceremonies and traditions that have been going through the consciousness of the planet at this time. So there becomes a communal grief and that's what I wanted to talk about today. Because it seems that um, even if you were not a royal follower, you will feel a sense of grief that you didn't know you had. And so I wanted to talk about that. What is that communal grief? And maybe, you know, how do we go back and find our joy again from that? And um, with my Naughty Oracle card deck, I have a card that helps you with some healing statements, etc. that can do that. Okay. So, what is communal grief? So you know that grief normally in yourself, it's that feeling of sadness and that overwhelming and you just have to cry all the time and you can't get out of bed. You know, there, there's a lot of different um, levels of grief that you can experience. Communal grief is a little bit different in that um, you don't really understand why you're feeling yucky while you're feeling sad um, until you watch the news and find out that the Queen is dead, something like that, uh, where you find out that, you know, the fires throughout Australia created communal grief. So it's, it's in the community. So a town itself can be suffering from communal grief. So if there's a tragedy, like a car accident with young people dying, etc., then that communal grief is felt by that specific town because of the connections that they know. From there, it can expand out into uh, counties and countries and states and territories. It can um, go into, into schools, into businesses, into community um, governments um, and all sorts of community structures. So there can be a community, a combining force, a combining energy that holds that space and that environment at that time. So, for instance, with the death of the Queen, even if you're not a royalist, even if you don't follow the Queen, you may still have felt a bit sad because you would have been bombarded with visions of the funeral and the grief of others. So you would be watching the grief of others on our local TV stations, etc. And so therefore, you want to grieve. Now, Grieving is a very personal space. It's a very personal thing to go through. But it's also, so there is no time limit. That's what I wanted to say with that part. But there is also the communal grief. So, yes, you're grieving yourself. So say you lost a pet, you're grieving yourself. But there's also this community grief because the projection of others that place on you and feeling sorry for you for losing that pet or that person in your life becomes another wave of grief that you have to contend with in your energy field. So this is why it's very, very important when you are feeling grief that you cry, you release it, you let it go. If you can't cry, imagine tears falling out of your eyes, 
and you falling to pieces and just letting it all that energy and all that space flow out of you. So this one's a very serious one, even though I've got finding your joy, because without grief, you can't find your joy. So why do you cry for no reason? Let's have a look at that one, because this one's an interesting one. And as I get older, some days I turn around and I just have to shed some tears and I'm like, where did that? Come from I have no reason to be crying there's nothing happening on the news there's nothing communal there's no communal grief at that time so sometimes when you have to release and cry it is just a release it can be a release of that energy that you've held in for years it can be a past memory that has been triggered and you need to release the tears from that past memory to help it heal or it can also just be, um, like for instance with the Queen, we're changing. So the stability of her presence has been a stall, like a full, that st stability has been amazing in our lives. Now there is change. And for people who cannot handle that change, they will cry because they're losing their stability in their life. Just as you cry for somebody that you will miss when they pass over. So we can cry for the situations in our lives. So if you lose your job, you can cry to release because you are, you are grieving over that loss of a job. You need to understand that grief is not just when someone dies. Grief can be changing jobs, changing lifestyles, um, losing people, pets, places and things. Um, losing your stability in life, losing the joys out of your life and you need to grieve and your time of grief is personal. It is your time of grief and you need to acknowledge that and let others understand that or retreat, grieve, let yourself have that space without being projected upon by other people. So that's grief in community consciousness and it's grief in a small form of what may be happening in your energetic self, not just losing people. It's losing things, it's losing people, uh, and it's losing places in your life. It's that transition from one to the other. We grieve for the old and then we create joy for the new. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm choking. Just I'll get some water. <laughs> okay, we're changing. I had a drop left. Hold on. So that's interesting. Ah, oh, so I've, I'm coming out of my grief, choking on it. I'll have to release that later. <laughs> and I'm moving now into finding joy. I oh, know. Yep. Okay, good. So how do we come back to finding our joy? You must release first. Very important. So release the emotions, have a good cry, stamp out your feet with anger, etc. You know, get over that part of it or let a little bit of that release out. Because without that release, you can't not feel guilty about finding joy outside of that. Okay. 
So this is where you can come back into yourself and holding space for what you want to bring in your life. So the things that make you joyful. So if it's walking on a beach, watching a good movie that makes you laugh, listen to a comedian, um, uh, doing some sort of exercise, um, enjoying time with friends that understand you. Uh, it can be a creative side of you that brings you joy. It can be your work too. This is all your personal journey with joy. And if you don't know what your joy is, keep exploring. Find out what brings me joy. Oh, I'll go and try this art course. Oh, no, that didn't work. I didn't like that at all. That was highly intense. <laughs> I'm amazed at people who can do fantastic artwork and things. And it's like, for me, no, I just, I can't do it right now. And that's okay. Not my joy, your joy, not mine. Be happy with that. I'm happy for you to go do your joy and I'll stick with what makes me joyful. All right. So I have a card specifically in my Naughty Oracle card deck. So my Naughty Oracle card deck coming out in December 2022. Keep an eye out for it. And it's about finding your joy and coming back to finding your joy. And this is it. Why so serious, droopy dog? Isn't he cute? Dorothy's done a beautiful job there drawing a beautiful sad puppy. Whoa. And he's got this big bone of joy right in front of him. But he's not reaching out to it. So he's not finding his joy. He believes he needs to sit back here and sulk. Why do we do that? Why do we wallow and carry on? When you can have your release, do your grieving... Release the emotion safely and then go and grab the bone and eat the thing <laughs> because it brings him joy. All right, I'll read from my um, oracle card. So it's time to laugh more. This is how you bring back your joy. So fuck everyone else and what they think. Go make yourself happy for a change. Do what helps you to find your joy without any harm to anyone, including yourself. Do not be a droopy dog and forget about you. Do things like eating what you like, in moderation of course, exercising how you want to exercise, wear what you want to wear and everyone else can just lump it. Why are you being serious about all this? Life is only temporary anyway. Release, release, release. So find your joy again and learn to live with joy again. All right. When you're playing with this card deck and you get this card, you have some questions to ask yourself. So they are, where has your joy gone? What makes you get out of bed in the morning? Does it bring you joy? And how can you laugh more? Here's your healing statement to say. So you can come back to this healing statement. Um, watch it again. Repeat it again. If you need to find your joy and you don't know where to start, come back to the healing statement. That's why I do the healing statement and the ascension statements because it helps you... Um, reprogram your mindset into a better space to help you to find your joy that's the whole point of these cards they're not just a message they're an actual healing tool so let's bring this in I now choose to make me happy when I make me happy everyone else will be happy and the world will look a lot brighter and life will be much more joyful to live. That's your healing statement. You can come back to that 
in the video. I've got timestamps below so you can you do that and come back and listen to that again. Here's the Ascension Statement. I am joy and happiness in all that I do, say and feel. Okay, again, you can come back to the timestamp and go back to that Ascension Statement and say it again and again and again if you desire to. So don't be a droopy dog, okay? Yes, we all need time to grieve. That is very important. But get your bone of joy as well. So after you've done that grieving, after you have really spent that time with yourself to heal and release, then you need to come back to your joy. So remember you. Remember you. Remember that you are important and you need to find your joy so that others can find their joy and then it becomes that reciprocal thing where it just keeps going and going and going. That is it. So you can tell I'm a bit heavy this week with all the grief of the communal consciousness and the community consciousness. So it takes a fair bit of energy for me um, to go out and be around people when this sort of space is happening because I can feel through the energy. So like we have Anzac Day parades here, which is your um, war uh, yearly remembrance days. And I cannot go to a lot of those uh, marches, etc., because I feel the energy and I feel it swirling around my head and that consciousness of the community overwhelms me because I process things naturally, energetically. And so therefore it takes a lot of my own personal space to hold the space so that I can help process that grief and that remembering and that and those ancestors that come in at that time when we're remembering them and holding the space for everybody to heal in that moment to, to acknowledge and give thanks. Uh, for their service so it it takes a lot for me to be in those big big crowds um, so if I do go to those things I have to retreat for three to five days and I have to retreat into myself and process out the grief and the anger and all of the emotions that have been holding in that space um, and then I can find my joy again. So if you see me in one of those processing days, don't take whatever I am to heart because what's happening is that I'm still processing and I might not really um, acknowledge your enthusiasm or your beautiful personal space because I'm actually still trying to get back to me um, because the work that I do in this earth plane is to process and heal energy um, as much as I can for the planet. And I'm hoping that my deck of cards, the Naughty Oracle card deck, can get you guys to do some of the work for yourselves too so I don't have to keep doing this. And everybody else who is a beautiful healing light worker out there who does this naturally too, they don't have to keep holding the space for you because everybody has the ability to do this. You just need to learn. And so I'm here to teach you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, comment below if you've got anything you would want to add or um, ask any questions about the communal grief and um, finding your joy. So just remember, finding your joy is not all about being happy, 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 joy, joy all the time. It's about releasing that grief first. 
so that you can feel lighter and brighter and happier. Do the work. <laughs> okay, beautiful people. Thank you so much for being here this week. I hope you're traveling through okay. Remember to find time for yourself. That's the best thing you can do while we're in this space. Okay, love you to, to you all. Love, 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 love. <laughs> and we'll catch us next time. Bye. Mwah.